Good morning. Uh, my name is Ms. Price, and I teach Family Consumer Sciences at Urbana Middle School. Welcome to Tiger Kitchen. And today I have two of our seventh grade basketball players, Chris and Brayden, and we're going to work together today to make a breakfast burrito. Okay. So what we're going to start off with is I'm going to start off, Brayden, and I'm going to get you started on chopping up some pre-cooked um, sausage for us. And if you just kind of would want to kind of cut it like this, and some nice little slices. Okay, and get that all cut right here for me, okay. and then move it into this dish, all right? Okay. Chris, if you'll do me a favor and go ahead, and um, we'll let you get started on the eggs here, and you can kind of uh, share with everybody what your process is and what you got going on here, okay? Okay, so I have two tablespoons of milk for the eggs, and then I have two them, whisk them, Oh, and I have six eggs. Good job. Good job, Brady, we're getting that meat cut up for us. And um, today we're using a brown and serve sausage for this recipe because since it's going to be a quick recipe, we want to make sure that the sausage is already cooked. You can make this recipe if you make this at home with the raw sausage, but you want to go ahead and cook it and drain it first, okay? All right, so what I'm going to do is, Chris, I'm going to get your skillet prepared for you, all right? And Brayden, if you'll go ahead and put that stuff in the sink, and you can go ahead and proceed with the rest of the recipe here with getting your sausage um, into the microwave, and you can explain your process for that. Okay. All right. Chris, what should I put your skillet up? On um, low, medium low. All right, okay. okay. And anything else in here besides the butter? Yeah, there is one tablespoon of margarine and cooking spray. Okay, all right. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get skillet set here for you. All right, how are we doing over here, Brayden? Okay, so we have one fourth a cup of diced pre-cooked sausage links here, and okay. we're going to put them in the I microwave. Right? Okay, all right. Sounds good to me. All right. All right, so Chris, we're going to check on your skillet here. Okay, so Chris, your skillet is almost ready to go. Um, let's see here. And Brayden, how long are you going to cook those in the microwave? Um, five to ten seconds. Five to ten seconds just to heat them up? Yep. Okay. Alrighty. Alright, so Chris, you might want to go ahead. I think your skills may be ready here. Oh. First, I have to spread the margarine around. Okay. Alright, and then we're going Right here, one thing you guys might want to be careful of and mindful of that when you're using a Teflon skillet, it's always good to probably use this type of a material here so that you don't scratch up the bottom of the skillet. All right, so I'm gonna have that to you and I'm gonna put this in the sink. How are we doing, Brayden? Good, we just got done heating these up, so we're going to heat the tortillas up for five seconds. Oh, yeah, okay. So, how's our meat doing over there? Good, this good, good stuff. All right. Okay, Chris, how's it going with the eggs here? Good. Okay, this looks like it's ready to go for me. Okay, so we're going to... All right, so it looks like we have some diced green peppers and onions and celery mix here. And so this is going to be a part of the recipe. So, Chris, while you go ahead and put your eggs in the skillet, what we're going to do is we're going to bring our meat back over here. And so, Brayden, if you do Miss Price a favor, and if you go ahead and dump this in here, okay. scrape it all out. Okay. And if you'll mix that up, and then what we'll need to do is we'll need to put this back in the microwave probably for about another 35 minutes. I mean, 35 seconds. Not minutes, okay. seconds. I'm 
One thing I'm going to tell people when they put eggs in the skillet, the one thing you want to do is when you put them in, you want to let them rest. Because when eggs get the opportunity to rest, you'll see here in just a few minutes how it'll start to come up around the here. Okay? Also, you want to always make sure you have something that you can lay your, lay your cooking utensils on. That way, the egg, it won't hit the countertop. Because we talked about in class, what do we talk about when you cook over eggs? You need to watch out for what type of contamination? Salmonella. Salmonella contamination. Okay? All right. All right. How are we doing, Brayden? Good. We, need, uh, we have uh, a couple more seconds on that. And when we get done with that, we're going to heat up our, yeah, heat up or no. We have a so we're going to put our, so this is yours right here. How are we doing guys? Good. Okay, a little bit. Just a little, we're going to turn these up just a little bit more here. Okay, and we still need to kind of let those rest a little bit so that they can kind of settle on the sides here. All right, so looks like we have our tortillas ready. So what we're going to do with the tortillas is, I'm just going to go ahead and get these laid out here on the plate so they'll be ready when we get ready to complete our wraps. Okay? Okay. All right, so we have our meat ready to go? Yep. All right, so we'll leave our meat right here. Okay, and then we'll wait a little bit for these eggs to kind of get up here. All right. So, did you guys have a game this week? Yeah. How'd you play? Good. good. You played good? Okay. Who'd y'all play against? St. Matthew's and Muhammad. St. Matthew and Muhammad. Okay, when's your season over? In February. In February. In February. Okay. Alright. So, can you guys see how the eggs right here now are starting to kind of get to the bottom of the skillet here? recipe a little bit while we're waiting on our eggs to kind of come together here. So it looks like we have some eggs and diced margarine and milk and the sausage links, uh, the diced vegetables, the green peppers and onions. It looks like we have some shredded cheese, flour tortillas, and some cooking spray. So Chris, it looks like in your recipe, in your eggs, you had milk and margarine in a bowl and you whisk it until blended. All right, and the dice up sausage, you put it in the microwave dish and just cook it for one minute. Take it out and then add the diced vegetables and then cook it again. All right, so it looks like this is probably gonna come together and make a really nice breakfast. Let's check on our eggs here. Okay. All right, look at that, Chris. See how those are kind of coming together here? All right, I'm gonna let you step in here and take over here with the eggs, all right? All right, and then right now I'm going to let you come over here because he's going to get to a point to where he's going to be ready for that. Yes. Okay. Look at that. The one thing you want to do about eggs, you want to go in and out outside the skillet. So you want to make sure you hold one arm here and then one arm here. So let me just show you. You want to do like this because you want to kind of control the skillet a little bit. You see how I'm going in and out, in and out all the way around? In and out, all the way around, okay? In and out, all the way around. In and out, all the way around. But you want to always hold on to the skillet, all right? You have two minutes to cook with, so if you need to flip it around to make it, make sure you keep it on the fire. There you go. Okay. okay, just a little bit at a time. In and out, in and out. Okay, side to side. Good job, good job. Okay. You see how the yellow part is and the white? That's what you want it to do. You want the egg to be able to kind of cook evenly. Okay? Now, when you get ready to get to the point of the burrito, if you would make a hole in the middle of the eggs by just scooping around all the eggs to the side. Okay? Just kind of eat it up around the pan. Okay? All right. Good. And if you make an egg, a hole in the middle of the eggs, so what happens is, Christopher, 
And put that down right there. And then we're going to let Brady kind of step over here. And Brady, you just want to dump those right in the middle. So you pick up the dish. And can you get it? Okay. Oh, sorry. Just, just take your time. You'll be all right. Dump it right in the middle. Get all that yum yum out the bottom. All the green pepper, all the onions. Okay. Make sure you scrape all the way out the bottom. This is what we talked about when cooking. It's going to be. I also have a plastic spatula so you can get everything out. Good job. All right, get all that right here. All right, that's good. All right, so we're going to put that in the sink for me. Yep. And then, Chris, what you would do is the same process. You gently just want to kind of start mixing it together gently. Okay, over here, do that. Okay, you want to get some of the sausage in every bite of the egg. All right, this is going to be just right here in just a second. The sausage feet around and everybody in the head. And one thing that I do, let me show you something here real quick. And when you're working with something, you want to kind of mix it together. Okay. Heat here. I always will turn my heat down a little bit. Okay. And then what is your next ingredient that you need to go in here? Cheese. All right. So how about we get some cheese over in here? We have... What kind of cheese are we using today, Chris? Shredded cheese. Okay. All right. So I'll let you go ahead and add the cheese in here. Okay. So you can make the call. You can add it all or add a little bit and then put the rest on top. Chef's call. We'll add a little bit. Okay. All right. Okay. You want to add more? Okay. All right. Okay, now, sometimes what people forget about when cooking eggs is the eggs are still cooked because they're still hot, so you can always turn off. And you kind of want to rotate around on the heat. Make sure you get everything kind of mixed through thoroughly. Okay, alrighty. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to take this, and I'm going to step out of the way, and then I'm going to let you guys finish up with the process for this meal. Okay. okay. If you want to braid some of this leftover cheese, you might want to go ahead and put it on the tortilla, divide it up between the tortillas. Okay. Okay. All right, Chris, I think we are ready to go. Okay. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to get some juice, V8 juice for yeah. Our drink. Alright. Come up here. You can get a little bit more here. Set it on the plates here. That makes a lot, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. So <laughs> while you do that and put that back, I'm only going to finish these up for you nice young gentlemen here. Alrighty. All right, look at that. All right, there you go. Breakfast is served. There you go, breakfast is served. Try it out, see what you think. All right, good job.